Imagine living in a city where the only light in the night sky is the moon. More than two-thirds of the U.S. has lost sight of the Milky Way due to light pollution. Artificial lights from the city create a glow that erases starlight from view. Bright lights interfere with astronomers' telescopes, making it difficult for astrophotographers and research. The astronomy industry contributes over $250 million to Arizona's economy. Stewart Observatory Sky Island atop Mount Lemmon hosts a nighttime observing program to help educate the public about the importance of astronomy research. Without what the IDA has done, uh, we would already have lost the, uh, no, the NOAO on uh, Kitt Peak, would be no more. So we would have lost the, the scientific discoveries and the economic impact of having that facility up there. The International Dark Sky Association fights to lower light pollution and keep the skies dark for observatories through stricter lighting ordinances. You just can't get away from companies and even residential areas don't observe the lighting ordinances as good as they should. The bigger the city grows, the more lights there are going to be. And it's that really detrimental to dark skies. Carmen Austin, an astronomy student of the U of A, says it's easy to help get rid of light pollution. All you have to do is have a fixture that, you know, something other than a globe light that sends light everywhere. And all that light that goes up, it's not used, it's completely wasted. We'd save an incredible amount of money if we didn't uh, send all that light up, but send it down and use it on the ground where we're actually using it. Redirecting wasteful light can improve light pollution and keep neighborhoods safe. For Arizona Cat's Eye, I'm Andrea Caviglia.